Society General Valley needed to win and win well in the final round if they were to win the first ever Saxo Markets Challenge Crunch. Trophy and the lion's share of the 200,000 Hong Kong dollars in prize money that goes with it. And it took an agonising 30 minutes of play before Valley finally broke a stubborn Kerry Hotel Kowloon. Fullback Mitchell Purvis opening the account for the red and black machine. Hooker Hunter Prescott closed the first half with Valley second, but Valley needed to push the tempo if the first of the season silverware was to be won. The explosive Latu punched Kowloon's line, and from that point, it was an all out assault. Lennox the next to follow. Replacement hooker Ryan Campbell crossed for Valley's fifth try. Before Kowloon pulled one back through Somali, effectively ending Valley's run on the trophy. Purvis took his second at the death, but would it be enough? Final score Valley 38, Kowloon 10. Over on Kings Park, the USRC Tigers and HKU Sandy Bay provided a thrilling spectacle. With the Tigers tearing into the visitors with converted tries to Ted Soppert and Kelvin Hunter. Yes! HKU Sandy Bay fly half Nick Cumming responded for the visitors as did prop Ashton Hyde to return the scores to level at 14 all. The Tigers favourite Sam Purvis put the home side in the lead on the half time whistle 21-14 in a strong first half performance. Backwards play on. Off the break. Coming produced a moment of sheer brilliance to bring the Bay within two points of the lead. And if that wasn't enough, he produced an almost carbon copy five minutes later for the lead. Sandy Bay up 24-21. Happy? Michael Maloney's lane penalty was all the Tigers could muster in the second half before a last gasp effort from the Bay clinched the win. HKU Sandy Bay beat the Borelli Walsh USRC Tigers 29-24. All eyes then turn to the game of the week clash as the Texas Club and Bloomberg Hong Kong Scottish met in the game to decide the first name engraved on the Saxo Markets Challenge Trophy. And clubs stepped into their work in fine style, overwhelming the visitors in the opening 40. From Patrick Jenkinson to his second row partner there, Adam Frampton of Ben McDonald as they absolutely stomp forward. Referee has his arm out for the advantage already, but looks like they're going to take this all the way forward. Club's second half performance even more impressive as the team plundered a hapless Scottish side from all points of the park. Lynn Hughes spots a huge gap there, and he is under the post. Who uh, hold on to it? Manaya, great inside ball there. That is absolutely phenomenal work there. Two. From Frampton, oh, puts the ball to Jonty Wood. From Jonty Wood. Oh, and it and sets up nicely for him. Lovely so, piece of skill. Jack Morris was able to cross for the visitors. And the club were never in doubt. Uh, 22, deep in their own 22. And again, oh, unfortunately um, being punished for it. Final and score, that Rob club Lynn. lift the, the Saxo boys. Markets oh, Challenge Trophy. 62-7. It's a good night from me. And it's a good night from him. A final look at the table for standings in this intriguing new addition to the Hong Kong Premiership season. The Texas club at the top and the dominance there for all to see. An impressive defensive performance for the five rounds sees the winners leaking a miserly 16.6 points per game while scoring 43. This week we return to the Saxo Markets Hong Kong Premiership. Round 6 kicks off at 3pm on SoCompo with Herbert Smith, Freehills, HKU, Sandy Bay and the Borelli Walsh USRC Tigers on off their clash last weekend. This should be a very interesting return match. Game of the Week comes to you from Happy Valley at 3pm as Society General Valley and Kerry Hotel Kowloon try it on for size one more time. And the late game at 7.30 see Bloomberg Hong Kong Scottish back in the Hong Kong Football Club take on the Premiership leaders in the Texas Club. All games live streaming from the HKRU page on Facebook. Friends and family, don't miss it.